Did you know that Monaco, a country smaller than New York Central Park, has the world's highest number of millionaires and billionaires per capita? That's right, in this tiny haven of wealth and luxury, one in every three residents is an insanely rich millionaire. Nestled along the pristine coastline of the Mediterranean Sea, Monaco's strategic location has played a pivotal role in shaping its economy, tourism, and international prestige. Between the Southern Alps and the stunning French Riviera, Monaco's position has turned it into a hotspot for the world's elite, who flock to this glamorous destination for business and leisure. In this video, we'll dive deep into the fascinating history, clever strategies, and unique characteristics that have shaped Monaco into the tax haven and playground for the rich it is today. From the early days of the Grimaldi family's rule to the visionary creation of the iconic Casino de Monte Carlo, we'll unravel the remarkable story of a nation that has survived and thrived against all odds. Monaco's journey has been filled with twists and turns, including power struggles, rebellions, and the transformation of its financial landscape that turned it into a magnet for Europe's wealthiest individuals. We'll also explore the economic factors that have contributed to Monaco's exceptional GDP per capita, the role of its real estate market in sustaining its wealth, and the impact of its strategic location on the glamorous French Riviera. If you are first time here, please support, like, and subscribe to our channel. Back in 1297, the Grimaldi family, a prominent Italian dynasty, seized the Rock of Monaco from a rival family. However, over the centuries, the territory came under the control of various European powers, including the Spanish, the Sardinians, and the French. It wasn't until 1861 that the French finally recognized Monaco's sovereignty through a treaty, allowing the Grimaldis to remain in power as monarchs. Before the treaty, Monaco's territory included the cities of Mentone and Roccabruna, where citrus farms contributed significantly to the country's revenue. However, in 1848, residents of these cities rebelled against Grimaldi's rule, partially due to high taxes. The Grimaldis signed the treaty with France to save their kingdom, which ceded these territories in exchange for their sovereignty and $4 million francs. This deal left Monaco both small in size and financially struggling. To overcome their financial difficulties, the Grimaldis devised a plan to attract Europeans by offering something unique, as many countries enacted laws restricting gambling, the Grimaldis decided to build a casino, which later became the famous Casino de Monte Carlo. The casino initially struggled, but after the construction of a railroad connecting it to France, it experienced a significant boom. By 1869, the casino's revenue was so substantial that the Grimaldis stopped collecting taxes from their citizens, creating another attractive offering for Europeans. This strategic move was a game-changer for Monaco as it tapped into the growing discontent among Europe's wealthy with the increasing tax rates in their home countries. Monaco's tax-free policy opened the door for the affluent to protect their fortunes, virtually transforming this tiny nation into a tax haven. Consequently, Europe's wealthiest individuals flocked to Monaco, drawn by the promise of financial security and the allure of a luxurious lifestyle. As the influx of wealth continued, the nation experienced a construction boom with stunning luxury hotels, opulent theaters, and magnificent mansions springing up to cater to the demands of its well-heeled residents. The glamorous lifestyle extended beyond land, as the rich and famous brought their extravagant yachts and luxurious cars, turning the ports and streets of Monaco into a showcase of affluence and grandeur. Monaco has consistently maintained a stable political environment vital for long-term investments and wealth preservation as a sovereign nation-state ruled by the Grimaldi family for centuries. The current sovereign prince of Monaco, Prince Albert II, holds executive power and shares legislative authority with the National Council. The prince represents the principality in its foreign relations and appoints the government which operates under his rule. The National Council shares legislative authority with the prince. Consisting of 24 members elected through universal suffrage, the National Council plays a vital role in shaping Monaco's laws and policies. Also, the main factor of political stability in Monaco is the solid and enduring relationship between Monaco and France. Article 1 of the Monegasque Constitution states, The Principality of Monaco is a sovereign, independent nation under the general principles of international law and specific agreements with France. This relationship ensures the stability and durability of Monaco's institutions while preserving its sovereignty and independence. Despite its long history, the monarchy has consistently adapted and modernized its institutions to withstand the various upheavals Europe has faced over the centuries. The ancient monarchy's ability to evolve and adjust has allowed Monaco to maintain its independence and develop into the thriving, wealthy nation it is today. 
Monaco's reputation as a tax haven has long been a significant factor in its allure for wealthy individuals and businesses seeking a favorable tax environment. The principality's unique taxation system, with its absence of personal income tax and generous corporate tax benefits, has significantly attracted high net worth residents and boosted its economy. One of the critical features of Monaco's tax system is the absence of personal income tax for its residents. This tax-free status has existed since 1869, when the revenue generated from the Casino de Monte Carlo allowed the Grimaldi family to abolish income tax for Monegasque citizens. This policy has made Monaco particularly attractive for wealthy individuals who can maintain their residency in the principality and significantly reduce their tax burden compared to other countries. Companies registered in Monaco also enjoy several tax benefits, with a corporate tax rate of 0% for businesses that generate at least 75% of their profits from activities within the principality. This favorable corporate tax environment has encouraged many international companies to establish their headquarters in Monaco, further contributing to the country's prosperity. In addition to the absence of personal income tax, Monaco does not impose wealth tax, making it even more attractive for high net worth individuals. The principality also has a sound inheritance tax system, with tax rates that vary depending on the relationship between the deceased and the beneficiary, and no inheritance tax for direct descendants. Moreover, there is no capital gains tax on the sale of securities, adding to Monaco's appeal as a tax haven. While Monaco's tax haven status has undoubtedly contributed to its economic success, it has also led to scrutiny from international organizations and governments concerned about tax evasion and money laundering. In response to these concerns, Monaco has improved its transparency and cooperation with international tax authorities, signing various tax information exchange agreements and adopting anti-money laundering regulations. As global tax regulations evolve and international pressure for transparency increases, Monaco must continue adapting its tax policies to maintain its appeal as a tax haven. However, the Principality's commitment to offering a favorable tax environment, political stability, and high quality of life suggests that it will remain a popular destination for wealthy individuals and businesses in the foreseeable future. Monaco's financial marketplace dates back to the end of the 19th century, when the first deposit banks opened in the Principality. Most of these banks were French. However, the financial industry took off in the 1970s, when expansion was stimulated by an imaginative and active policy on the part of the public authorities, and by the effect of a long period of economic growth and political and social stability. Monaco's pervasive banking network comprises around 30 full-service banks and 60 portfolio or mutual fund management companies. The banking and finance industry is now one of the strengths of the principality's economy since the total assets have been multiplied by three in 15 years. All of the banks operating in Monaco belong to leading banking groups. 70% of the industry's assets belong to non-resident clients from Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, Latin America, and Asia Pacific. Under various agreements between France and Monaco, Monegasque banks are subject to the same prudential and regulatory rules as French banks. A strong focus on security, safety, and political stability has solidified Monaco's reputation as an attractive banking destination. With one police officer for every 100 residents and round-the-clock video surveillance, the principality is often called the safest square mile in Europe. With this, Monaco has established itself as a leading international banking center offering high-quality financial services to residents and non-residents alike. The Principality is home to numerous renowned banks and financial institutions, providing services such as wealth management, asset management, and private banking. This well-regulated banking system ensures stability and attracts wealthy individuals seeking a secure investment environment. Monaco's real estate market is characterized by its small size, high demand, and premium properties. Due to the limited land area of just under two square kilometers, and a constant influx of wealthy individuals seeking a luxurious lifestyle, property prices have skyrocketed to over 50,000 euros per square meter. This places Monaco among the top five most expensive capitals in the world. The construction and real estate sectors play a crucial role in the Monegasque economy, with construction accounting for 11.4% of the country's GDP and real estate activities contributing 9.6%. The robustness of this sector is a testament to the principality's global allure, attracting residents from all corners of the world. The international prestige of Monaco, coupled with its strategic location at the heart of the European economy, has transformed the principality's real estate market into a highly sought-after investment opportunity. 
Investors are drawn to Monaco for its economic and political stability, the safety of property investments, and the attractive investment facilities. The combination of limited land, high demand, and premium properties has made Monaco's real estate sector an essential pillar of the principality's economy and a significant contributor to its wealth. Monaco is a popular tourist destination because of its climate and casinos. As such, the country relies heavily on the tourism industry to generate revenue. Monaco's tourism sector is a significant driver of its economy, attracting millions of visitors each year. With its glamorous image, vibrant culture, and idyllic location along the Mediterranean coast, the principality entices travelers seeking an unforgettable experience. The influx of tourists ripple effect on other sectors, such as hospitality, retail, and entertainment, boosting the overall economy. The high-end hospitality industry in Monaco is renowned for its luxurious hotels, gourmet restaurants, and elite clubs, catering to the discerning tastes of affluent tourists. The principality also offers various entertainment options, from prestigious cultural events to high-stakes casinos, ensuring visitors are always aware of things to do. These factors contribute significantly to Monaco's economy, generating substantial revenue and creating employment opportunities. The presence of world-class casinos has helped position Monaco as a premier destination for luxury tourism. Casinos are crucial in Monaco's economy, generating millions of euros annually. They attract wealthy tourists who, in addition to gambling, spend their money on luxury hotels, fine dining, shopping, and other leisure activities, further boosting Monaco's economy. The Formula One Grand Prix is undoubtedly one of the most iconic events in Monaco's calendar, drawing massive global attention and boosting tourism. Held annually since 1929, the Monaco Grand Prix is considered one of the most prestigious automobile races in the world. The challenging street circuit, with its tight turns and narrow roads, Combined with the glamorous backdrop of Monaco's harbor, make it a thrilling spectacle for fans and racers alike. The economic impact of the F1 Grand Prix is immense, with thousands of visitors flocking to Monaco each year to witness the event. Monaco's location along the Mediterranean coastline has provided it with a natural harbor, which has become essential to the country's thriving yachting industry. The port of Monaco is a hub for luxury yachts and a gateway for the wealthy to explore the breathtaking Mediterranean coastline. This industry has created numerous job opportunities and contributed significantly to Monaco's economy. The allure of Monaco's luxury lifestyle, vibrant culture, and unforgettable events make it a premier destination for discerning travelers worldwide. As we wrap up our exploration of the many factors that have contributed to Monaco's wealth, it is crucial to reflect upon the key elements that have shaped this nation's extraordinary journey. From its rich history and strategic decisions to its unique taxation system, thriving real estate market, and exceptional geographical location, Monaco has capitalized on every opportunity to secure its place as a global powerhouse of wealth and luxury. The prospects for Monaco's continued prosperity remain promising as we look towards the future. The Principality's ongoing commitment to maintaining its status as a tax haven, attracting foreign investment, and preserving its image as an exclusive destination for luxury living ensures that it will thrive in an ever-changing global landscape. However, Monaco also faces ongoing challenges and opportunities. With limited land for development and the constant pressure to maintain its attractiveness to wealthy individuals and businesses, Monaco must continue to innovate and adapt. Addressing housing affordability, environmental sustainability, and economic diversification will be essential for the Principality's long-term success. In conclusion, the story of Monaco's wealth is a remarkable tale of perseverance, ingenuity, and strategic thinking. This small yet mighty nation has created an exclusive oasis for the world's elite, and its unique combination of factors has allowed it to secure its place as one of the wealthiest nations on Earth.